welcome to our channel, Philippine Adventures. Dan and Rochelle, welcome back. So today I have a very, uh, I guess, uh, interesting subject. Uh, a lot of you might get really pissed off at me, but it, there's no intent for that at all in any way. Um, what I did, I... Uh, okay, so, so what it is, this video is about younger Filipino girls with older foreigners. And I'm not, it has nothing to do with an age gap. It is to do with the innocence of young children. So whether you're 70 and 20 or 25 and 65 and whatever, 30, who cares? At least the girl is old enough to make some decisions on her own. So this is very important, um, in my opinion. Okay, so now, um, if you're watching this video, I hope you watch near the end because I have two interviews with very young Filipinas around 20 years old and you will be a little bit surprised at what they had to say. Yeah. So I am shocked, but anyway, it is what it is. So um, anyway, like I said, I don't want, I'm not trying to offend anybody. This is only my opinion and it's got nothing to do with anybody else. So I'm looking down at my notes because I got a lot of pages here. Um, Here's what I see a lot. Age is only a number. Mm -hmm. I give her a better life. It's amazing how she looks after me. Um, and so many more comments. But I'm ready. I'm ready for all you people to fire away at me. But I hope some positivity comes out of this. Because this is my intent. Um, we, we have a 20 year age gap my beautiful wife and I, and this has nothing to do with an age gap. I'm not, I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm no better than anybody else. What, what I'm concerned about is the youth, the very 18, 19, and, you know, 20. They're, they're still children. So, um, it's hard for me to watch that. I'm very confused when I see it. Um, we fell in love, and everything is great. We both show a lot of affection to each other. Um, you know, I open doors for him, a gentleman, I, yeah. all of this kind of oh. stuff, right? That's just, um, you know, helping her with chores, doing everything at the house. I do, I do dishes. I even help with laundry. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so let me, uh, I see a lot of men here marry, uh, for a companionship or housekeeper, which is good. So I'm so confused by, when I see 18, 19 year old girls with guys that are, you know, my age or over 65, uh, 65, 70, um, they, they haven't really had a chance to become women. They're still kids. And when I see them in a non affectionate way or relationship where they look like they're almost like workers or slaves or it's frustrating to see that, that we take advantage of us foreigners, me included, would, if, if we were to do that to take advantage of them, it is wrong. Um, I do have some notes here, but I'm going to try not to look at them constantly because that's terrible. But uh, anyways, I have five girls, okay? I have five daughters. Um, there's no way in hell that I would let uh, my girls, if they were 18 or 19, to be with an old pervert. Uh, dating or, or marrying my daughters. There's not a chance. Not a chance for me. Yeah. So, you know, we come to the Philippines and we act, or some men act differently. Right? It's not. I'm not saying me, and I'm not saying you, but there are people uh, that come here and they, you know, they. it's so different. They would never ever date little girls in their home country. So, why would you do it here? I mean, if you were to do that at home, you're going to be called, you know, a pedophile, a dirty old man, a pervert, many names you're going to get called, and you're going to be embarrassed so bad. But here, I guess it's, it's you can hide from it. Um, it's very frustrating to see. Um, these are not ladies. These are still children at this age, 18, 19. And it doesn't really matter... Um, I understand that 18 legally they can get married with a parent's permission uh, actually up to 25 they still need some kind of affidavit to get married but 
they still don't really know what they want and it's they want love that's what they want they want love and I understand uh, a little bit more now that I had these two uh, interviews with these two young girls I understand it a little bit more why it's acceptable um, but it still I guess bothers them to me in, in a way um, but let's see here the um, anyways let's let's put it this way let's say you were back in, in your hometown wherever that might be if it's Dallas Texas wherever it is and you have some daughters and maybe it's different if you have boys I don't know but let's say you had a couple of girls and uh, one of them was 18 and she wanted to get married to a 68 year old guy Are you, and you're gonna be good with that or is it just because it's different because it's not your daughter right uh, I don't think you'd be good with that. Maybe I'm wrong. I know I wouldn't be good with it. So I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm not really trying to put anybody down here. I just want, I feel sad for the girls here, the young girls. And I, again, this is not about an age gap in any way. Uh, I think once you're over 25, you know, you know what you want. You know where you're going. You're old enough to make those decisions. Uh, but anyway, um, like I said, I don't know, is it maybe different when you're having boys or girls? I don't know, but either way, I don't think it's right. Um, well, let's see, I just, I, I just want guys to show more respect for the young girls here, and not just money. Show them some affection, show them that you care, show them that you love them, make them feel important. Do it like you would in your home country. Like, you need to do that. The, the Filipino, are so giving and so loving um, try to give back that same what they put out that's that's all I'm trying to get at here there's there's no other um, did I um, talk about the why not or no that was okay so what, what, yeah no I don't think it was on that was on the other video but anyway so another time meaning that um, I guess one reason, we went to Why Not, it's a cafe here in, uh, on down the boulevard, we had pizza, and a friend of mine, another couple, and his wife, or his girlfriend, uh, we met there for pizza, and uh, one of his friends saw us there, and he dropped down, and he sat down with us. Um, we were talking, the, the four of us were talking already about how nice it was in Bali, and our honeymoon, and this guy was 77 years old, and he sat down, and he's, he was pretty much insulting our wives, they were both beautiful wives as you can see or mine and they're both very nice people and he says oh well you know you guys are stuck with older ladies and um, they're too old for me that your your girls are way too old and I mean come on they're she's not old but anyway he's 77 and he's telling that she's too old and he says I need a 17 year old or an 18 year old so to me that is a pedophile okay anyway you look at it something wrong and he thinks he's completely right like I wanted to fight with a guy I was so mad to insult my wife and to talk like yeah. like a pervert that's just wrong but I'm not saying everybody out there is like that but that was very frustrating so again um, we're gonna put a video up here um, of the two girls that I interviewed and I was quite shocked at uh, what they had to say and uh, I guess I, I sort of changed my outlook a little bit on this topic, but it's still, I just would hope that we would respect the Filipinas and give them what they deserve. They're beautiful people, exactly. and I'm hoping that, you know, I'm just hoping that everything works show out. Respect. And show respect, show you love them, yeah, show you care, them. and Very, yeah. anyway, listen to what the girls have to say, and um, I was kind of shocked, but... I guess it is the way it is here in the Philippines. Anyways, uh, yes. thank you guys for uh, watching and please uh, subscribe, subscribe and like. like and just follow. Just and uh, leave some comments and uh, I'm sure I might have some uh, ugly comments directed at mm -hmm. me, but hey, no problem. I got big shoulders and I will try to understand and, and help you understand how I feel because yeah, it's yeah. sad to see but it is what it is and anyway you guys all have a great night but like and subscribe yes <laughs> bye now i met this beautiful young lady here on the boardwalk and i just wanted to ask her a few questions about 
um, about uh, do you what do you think what do you think of um, 18 19 20 year old girls with guys that are 65 or older is that uh, good bad or what do you think I think that's good uh, it depends on the whether you, you love each other Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter how old you are or what. So it doesn't matter to you at all? Yeah, so even at 18? It depends on you. So it's, you're okay with that? So yeah. would you, personally, would you date like a 65 or 70 year old man? Or? I do not date that, but for now, I'm just focusing my uh, study and work. Right. Uh, so I'm still studying. That's good. Yeah. So I just, yeah, no, I was curious. Like some mm -hmm. people prefer filter, you know, some people prefer uh, for it. So I just, uh, I just thought, um, so overall you're okay with it as long as it's respected. And, uh, as long as you can, as long as both of you have it. Yeah, okay. That's, uh, I just wanted to get some different opinions here. So far it seems like everybody's okay with it. So I was, I'm surprised, but I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, really? Uh, okay, thank you, so thank you very much for being on our channel. Uh, just to add a little bit to our story that we're doing, I wanted to ask this young lady here what she thinks about uh, seeing so many foreigners uh, over 65 with girls that are 18, 19, and 20. Um, do you think that's good or bad? What do you think about it? Um, I think that um, every one of us deserves a happiness. I think I'm not necessarily against with that relationship. As long as it's between the two consent consenting adults, then it's none of my business. Because everyone deserves happiness. Maybe they find happiness with that, then I'm okay with it. That's it. Yeah, so everybody has their own choice. Yeah. Uh, so, what I think, it, my personally, at 18, 19, and 20, I think it's very young that the girl has to really know what she wants yet in life. She might get into something she can't get out of. Uh, I have no problem with uh, younger ladies over 20 uh, that lift a little bit and I don't know, would, would you would you date say a 65, 70 year old personally or? Um, for me, in my own opinion, um, we have different experiences in life. Maybe they have their um, um, it's, uh, negative experiences that is why they choose that path and that we are fortunate enough that at um, like me, I am fortunate enough that I reached this age that I have, don't have a mindset like that. that I, I want to date uh, old foreigners so that I will uh, be rich uh, quickly. But um, the unfor unfortunate ones, like the young ones, 18 or 17, 16, we don't know their experiences that, that they choose that one. So I, I still respect that decision. Okay. That's just it. Just a couple of questions I wanted to get, and uh, thank you very much. I know you're shy. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs>